This video on solar system small bodies will focus on dwarf planets. The most recent formal definition for a planet was adapted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. It states that a planet must orbit the Sun, must be massive enough to have achieved hydrostatic equilibrium, i.e. it must be round due to its own gravity, and finally it must have cleared its orbit, which means it must be gravitationally dominant in its orbital neighborhood. The first part of the definition is pretty self-explanatory, but important. A planet must orbit the Sun. There are moons in the solar system, such as Ganymede and Titan, that are massive, round, with unique orbits, but are orbiting a giant planet instead of the Sun. Mercury, which is smaller than these, however, is considered a planet because it does orbit the Sun. The second part of the definition requires the planet to be round due to its own gravity. Tiny objects that are round and launched into heliocentric orbit do not count as planets. The final part of the definition requires a planet to have a unique orbit or at least be gravitationally dominant within its orbit. Back in 1801, an object was discovered in an orbit between that of Mars and Jupiter. It was named Ceres. At the time, it was considered a newly discovered planet. However, within the next few years, it was discovered that there were many other objects in similar orbits. Thus, a new category of objects was created to distinguish these asteroids from planets. So what is Pluto? When it was first discovered, Pluto was strange for a planet. It was small and its orbit crossed that of Neptune. By the end of the 20th century, it was discovered that Pluto was just one 
of many icy objects surrounding the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. Thus, Pluto is just one of many Kuiper Belt objects. However, because of its size, it is massive enough to be considered a dwarf planet, along with other KBOs, such as Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and of course the asteroid Ceres. There are additional dwarf planet candidates out in the Kuiper belt whose size is not exactly known enough to confirm their dwarf planet status. <laughs>